Oh, you got a little friend right there. How's it going, everybody? Let's get into some hives. See what's going on. Feeding this one right here. I had some people ask how to do the banana thing. It's not a. It's not anything new. It's not something that a lot of beekeepers do. Uh, we get our bananas for free. We don't buy them. And the United States, there's so much food that is wasted. It's pretty sad, actually. And so bananas are one thing. And so we go out to a couple of stores and ask them and managers call us when they have some cases that they're going to throw away because they're bad and instead of throwing them away we can use them for our bees and they, they enjoy them they take them and stuff and so we're out here and what we call our military bees out here by Fort Sill. It's got a good, uh, good amount of food on this one. That one was running really low, so we got about a gallon and a half of food on there. For her, we need to get them uh, bulked up for sure going through the winter. At this Right now they will not get it. So they got two bananas on them. This larvae looks really, really good. They had about, oh, maybe two and a half, three frames worth of nectar. That's pollen, but not very much. So we gave them two, two bananas and then filled up their jars and their internal feeder with uh, honey. So these girls are looking good. Nice fruit pattern, eggs. I got dogs out here. There's a pond over here, a little fawn pond. I've been swimming in it, beat the heat. Having just fun. Get this box off of here. So people ask also, not just how to feed the bananas, but about different equipment. So. Most people they're going to notice that follow us. We keep mainly in this style right here. It's both of these are Langstroth, but uh, that one's a seven frame. This is a ten frame. I don't keep anything with uh, screen bottoms, but this particular hive does have a screen bottom, and the reason is is we also help some backyard beekeepers out, uh, quite a few, and so if they have problems. I say, or not problems, if they're like splitting a hive and they don't want to mess with it to resell it or anything, then we uh, come and pick it up and we'll take it out to a yard. And in that yard, if they, if the person that gave it to us, you know, if they like lose their bees or something, then they don't have to worry about buying bees. They just come back to us and you know if they give us three splits four splits or whatever the case may be and then uh we'll reimburse them through when if they lose a colony and stuff so you know, a backyard they just might want to and they're just doing it for you know to maybe pollinate a little bit of their garden and they can't they don't want to expand they don't want anything to do with the expansion they're not in it for honey cells or anything of that nature so that's where this particular hive comes from it's just a, a lady and she just wants a, a hive or two in her backyard and uh, she had some equipment and this hive she just got a little bit too big for her and what she wanted to do so she um, asked if we would take it so we like to teach people too so um, 
we took it and she needs things that needs a queen needs a, a nuke a starter hive a new hive whatever the case may be she just lets us know we'll replace it for her and that's how we we can help out um, different people as well so it works out for us and it works out for them and I have the space and we can we can accommodate them so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this internal feeder up. I don't have any of those fancy pumps and rigs and all that stuff. We still do it with a five gallon bucket and a, and a pitcher. And I try not to feed that much, but one thing about going into new areas, you never really know where they're what the forge you're going to run into or anything of that nature so you don't know how much to leave them or what to take or what we're going to do so in September going all the way through November we always got some food on us just to make sure So we'll get that and then once we fill that up I like to just sprinkle some on the top right here just for them. That way they just kind of know that there's uh, food going on in here. So then we have our bananas here. So a lot of people will ask, you know, kind of like, do you give them rotten or anything? No. So this is the banana that we're looking for. Something that's still good. Uh, you know, I'd make a banana bread with this. Uh, they're not going to eat this sticker, so you can take that off, or you can leave it on there. Now, do they eat the pill? Some colonies will eat this pill and others won't. They won't eat this little stem part, and they won't eat the big stem part. So we just pinch them off, throw them out. I'll keep the pill on there, and I'll show you how we set it on here. We split it up and down the middle just like this. Move the bees out of the way a little bit. And if, we're, if you're in a double brood box, then you put it in between. And I just lay it like this, and then we take our hand and we smash it down. And we leave this pill on here, and that's for uh, a little bit of protection against the high beetles and stuff. The high beetles will lay in it, but we've never had it anything like a pollen patty or anything like that. So, again, so these are the stems. You just toss them. Split it down the middle just like this. Move the bees out of the way a little bit. And put it down. And we just smash it down here. I'll bring you in a little closer. And as you can see, I mean, they're not attacking me or anything. I mean, this is a, a thing. They're going after that sugary sweetness of a banana that has you can see that be just eating it off of my hands you see her little tongue is she's cleaning it up but I'll bring you in here you see that's how they are with the bananas and you know, a lot of beekeepers will be like, oh no, they don't eat them, but, you know, or that's not right, shouldn't do that. And you can feed whatever you want to, however you want to do it, but this is not something that's new. We've done it for years. There is some research papers out there on it, and, uh, but, you know, not everybody's blessed to have available pollen patties and pollen substitute and you know what the first world countries have you know in other places they have to rely on what is found out to be able to manage bees and do these things and stuff and and uh, some of these places like South America you know they they've been feeding bananas for a long time and it provides sugar it provides nutrients and minerals and 
I mean, the bees really get on it and stuff. And so, but they will only take it during a dearth. We are in a dearth. We're actually starting to get into a little drought situation in this area. So they will uh, take it there in it. But if there's natural forage coming in, you know, the plants are producing nectar and and whatnot, then, uh, you know, the bees will not take it and they'll just sit there and they'll dry up. But this colony, these two bananas will be done in... I mean, by the end of today, tomorrow, I mean, they're going to be done. Now, whether they remove the pill or not, we will see on the next one when I make it out here. But uh, we will, but the banana part, the, the, the flesh part that you eat, yeah, they'll, they'll have that done today, maybe tomorrow. And they'll have this syrup taken down, oh, probably within a, within a day or two as well. So that's just how we do it. And again, you know nothing they're not attacking my hands they're not doing anything like you know you just be gentle don't plop them down and stuff move them out of the way but yeah they readily take them in the in the thing and we will do this uh until it gets cold i mean we can run them all the way through november if we're warm you know at least thanksgiving possibly even into december and then uh, as soon as natural forage comes on though they uh, uh stop stop taking it or if it gets too cold they won't uh take them either so it has to be in that little sweet spot but if you have access to them you know it's a it's a good way to get some nutrients on your bees all right well y'all be keeping it real out there and we will catch you on the next one see ya